A baby gifted by Amitabha Buddha. Sitting before the medical images on the computer, she was struck dumb with depression. The physician explained the images with a long string of medical terms. In a ward, she had only a ten thousand chance of pregnancy. It's almost impossible. To conceive a baby. From the images, she could foresee gloomy days at home, full of moans, apathy, even kitchen fixtures and tableware lost their race on Detra. Oh my! Where is my life headed? Amid deep melancholy, a lotus flower bloomed in her heart. It was Amitabha Buddha. Yes, I am an Amitabha reciter. Who else could I turn to, if not Amitabha Buddha? The Buddha's warmth and fragrance permeated her depression. In her eyes, the kitchen where she busied herself every day became a place of Dharma practice. The chopping board, pots, spatulas, bowls, plates, and chopsticks seemed strung together like recitation beads. She recited Amitabha's name while vigorously figuring her beads. Her friends came to persuade her not to give up medical treatment. Their earnest faces also seemed to be recitation beads. Urging her to recite Namo Amitabha Buddha. One day, which happened to be Amitabha Buddha's birthday, she prostrated herself before the Buddha's image. She felt Amitabha handing her a gift. She was filled with a joy like the fragrance of flowers. It was with delight that she went to the doctor's office. The examination report clearly indicated a baby was on the way. Since forth, she cooked delicious vegetable dishes to nourish the fetus sent by Amitabha Buddha. Every day, she exercised with her little darling while reciting Namo Amitabha Buddha. The baby was born. Radiating the vitality and brightness of Amitabha Buddha. Thank you, Namo Amitabha Buddha.